Now at six, a four year old boy saved tonight after being at the center of an Amber Alert. That little boy was reported missing by his father just before five this morning from the area of Wedgwood Drive in Eakin. Thanks for joining us at six. I'm Andrew Kinsey and I'm Angela Ann in for Yolanda tonight. Police say they found that little boy unharmed a couple of blocks away from where he was reported missing. Now that was around 11 o'clock this morning and 10 TV's Lacey Crisp has been following this story since she joins us tonight from Columbus Police Headquarters. It was a heartwarming moment when Matthew was found safely. He smiled and skipped down the street with first responders. Over the last couple of weeks, we've had incidents in Columbus with young children unfortunately losing their lives to domestic abuse. So this is a situation that we're just we're begging at this point anyone with information to come forward. It was a frantic search for about six hours for four year old Matthew Brown Giamarco. Columbus police say his parents got into a fight about custody between three and five o'clock this morning. That's when his mother, Sierra Brown, and her friend, Tayson Hickson, took the boy. Columbus Police Sergeant James Fuqua said they considered this a dangerous situation for the boy because there were accusations of domestic violence earlier in the week. The father of the child told us about this specific incident to the point where, unfortunately, whatever that abuse that was alleged occurred, left bruises and marks on the young man to the point where had we been involved in that and been called, there would have been measures taken in place to remove the child from the home. Around 11, Brown and Hickson called detectives and told CPD where they were. They only went a few blocks away to Hickson's grandparents' home. My grandson came over to, to something in the morning. It's all a misunderstanding. Victor Jennings said they played with Matthew in his garage until police arrived. Play with my chest set, uh, fishing lures, uh, bait him a little bit. That's when police took Brown and Hickson into custody, and Matthew was walked to safety to an ambulance to be checked out. Well, I think anytime you have anything dealing with young people, especially young kids, that really touches a nerve with people because really kids are unprotected. They can't they can't fend for themselves. They can't protect themselves. So, I think many people are parents, right? So with the situations we've seen, like I said, over the last couple of weeks where unfortunately a mother did everything she could to protect her young six-year-old to an eight-year-old tragically losing their life. When you see these things over and over publicly, you know, that, that's trauma for all of us. You don't have to be a friend. You don't have to be family to see these things and have a heavy heart. Both Brown and Hickson have been charged in the incident, but more charges could be filed. In Columbus, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.